Hi everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today, I would like to share my experience of using this very exciting product that recently released by SMS Audio PL200 CD player with MQA decoder plus USB deck inside. And it only have three inputs, right? You can use Bluetooth, CD, and USB input, which is USB-C input. It has all the outputs that you can see here, and I try all of them using with different components and amplifier. I started off using it with the, my old amplifier, which is Denon PME 2004R and RCE cable connected and playing with these two speakers, JBL100 Classic 75th and Pioneer TED S1EX speakers. Just to have an idea of how PL200 will sound with older amp so which is sounded real nice in that pairing for the synergy wise i like it better with the s1ex towers and then when i switch it over to this arcuface e4000 and the sound is incredible i mean smooth as silk nice and airy sound with plenty of refinement and articulated notes and then small nuances and small notes are i mean micro detail is incredibly accurate and natural this remote control is fully feature remote control if you sit far you're not going to be able to see the screen so that's the only problem Build quality of this pl200 is very solid with the new uh, face plate and solid aluminum chassis and this volume control button has a nice feeling with good resistance to it these soft touch of piano keys are very nice to use very responsive let's try it it's like this go to next track Let's go through the operation of this PL200 and setting menu. This is the aluminum lid, solid design. This opening for CD weight. And this one is magnetized CD weight. So let me put it aside. Here's a security uh, little sensor button. I'm gonna put CD back on and then put the weight. So before you put the top cover, if you want to see the actual operation or readout and stuff, you can push and hold this button, the security button, then you'll be able to see it there. And you can do it totally if you have something to push it down. So it's just a little trick. That sensor is very sensitive. Let me put the lid back on. Push the button to get inside the menu inputs. You can see three inputs. Outputs, you can see all the outputs, analog balance and RCA and all the line out or headphone out. And at the bottom, you can use it as a transposer, which is really nice. And then PCM filter. As usual, I'm only using standard filter, DSD filter, headphone amp gain. I'm only using low gain setting. And then sound color, I'm using standard sound color. Pre-mode, that's where it's really set apart from other CDs players. Variable fix or fix DSD bypass, you can do that. And the FN key, that is for function programming of the FN key on the remote control. So you can choose those. And audio phase, reverse or normal, you can change it. Dimmer is on and off of the screen. And the brightness or so all those menu and reset so that's it headphone stage is very decent good amount of power to drive pretty much all the headphones but the output of a headphone stage is in the back 
using 6.35 millimeter so which is nice in my opinion because that way is cleaner look on the front panel but some people may prefer it on the front so i think this sms uh, engineers or people that work on these kind of products they may have some different personas for different assignments right because i had and I have a lot of SMS products in general, entry level to the higher end price point levels. Many of them very good at delivering music back to you. But this one, PL200, the DAC and then CD player, the whole nine yards of the digital playback is better than other decks that I try from their lineup. Right, overall, the sound quality is almost as good as D400EX in refinement and incredible amount of detail and resolution that it can produce. Human voices, everything is so accurate and very natural sound to it. Then I switch it over to S1EX, same feeling, better in refinement, better in depth and that kind of differences. But overall, the sound quality and refinement and everything combined, this PL200 is probably my favorite deck so far. I will let you know after end of the year. So I'm not sure, man, this one is so good in my system. So this Arcuface E4000 is very sensitive to pairing components. So if a DAC is not so great in refinement, it will totally show it. When I was listening like Nora Jones or Diana Krull or Anne Bissens or those kind of music, oh man, you will be melted on your chair. It may be a little bit going backward because you are having the top loading with the lid that you have to put on. So that is the one thing that my favorite thing because I only buy top loading CD player back in the days. One of my favorite is Sony, I think XE555ES or something. I, I still have my video, right? My very first YouTube video is about that CD player. Uh, it's not a review, I'm just loading and opening the lid and slider lid that they had. So I'm a big fan of top loading players because the tray is prone to have issues, especially the pinions that they use, the gears that they use in there are nylon gears or sometimes they have plastic gears and they worn out over time. So this top loading is it will last longer in my experience. This PL200 is revealing yet refined sound quality without any harshness or brightness that it can deliver. This is the best iteration of AKM4499EX based design in my opinion because I have heard so many different decks and it is like a, one of the nicest feeling when you hear your music so smooth and so rich yet very well reproduced dynamics and richness and depth and skill all combined there is nothing better than that in the, this hobby because you know that because whenever you try new components 99% of the time in modern day manufacturing capabilities, most of them are sound okay to good to very good. Everything that we can categorize. But when you run into something like this, I was like, just want to enjoy my music. That's it, nothing else. So let's go back to the sound quality a little bit more, right? I try a few different CDs and it sounded real nice. I have no complaint there in terms of sound quality. So when I try, I only have one MQA CD. That's the Chantel uh, Chamberlain uh, C MQA CD that I have. So I also have high res version. That's the regular flag files and 
I think 24-bit, 44.1K, so just regular CD uh, resolution. So when I compare it back to back, right, playing CD and then I try that very same music from my Sony Music Server to this PL200 USB C deck, and what I can notice is the MQA is a little louder, but also a little bit less clearer in the background. So when I went back to regular flag files and I listened it again through the USB deck from this PL200, it, it sounded nicer and cleaner and darker in background. Red book CD playback or even playing a CD layer out of a SACD disc totally fine. In this video, sound sample that the usual sound sample that you will hear is I will be playing CD layer out of SACD disc, right? So that is what you will hear in this video with this JBL 100 Classic 75th. Highs are airy yet smooth and there are slight richness and slight warmness to it. So that is one of my favorite part. And bass notes are articulate yet dynamic and it has slight vividness and slight immediacy to it as well. The mid-range frequencies are very accurate. Human voices are probably one of the best that you can have, whether you play in CD or internet deck. This kind of component that get me really excited because it's niche product plus you will have incredible sound quality, probably uh, best sounding single AKM 4499 EX chip based deck that I heard in terms of refinement and sound quality that it can produce. So there's a few things that I love about this PL200, right? First is the sound quality. There is no question about it. Absolutely adore it and love the way that it can produce a sound in my system. Second is the features and functions and CD playback and MQA CD if that matter to you, but I only have one MQA disc. So those are all the features that I love. Plus you are not paying super expensive price, right? Under $700, you are getting state of the art deck, very good CD player and sound quality out of one component. If you need it to, you can even use it as a pre-deck. So that is a very good options for you. Oh, one thing that I almost forgot to tell you is I also tried it as a transport using this Dina Fris Pontus 2 and Coaxia cable connected between the two components. It works great. So if you have your favorite deck, this can totally work for you. If you have a lot of CDs that you need a really good sounding player, this PL200 is must audition for you. I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you to try it out. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass. Hey. Mm -hmm.
On the bass, Mr. Kori Goe Kesu-san. On the guitar, Onimayoshi-san. 